So uh, what we're going to do is, is um, we're going to have um, our growth groups give a little bit of a testimony what they've been doing and what they will be doing. And um, so that'll just be a good time for us to kind of feel out which ones of the growth groups are for us. And All right, so Sandy, why don't you come up and do the growth groups? So um, what we're going to do is I thought I would just bring up one person um, just to give a testimony from each group, and then we'll hear from that leader about what they're going to do for the next time. So Katie Ann was in Michael's group. So Katie Ann, come on up. She's going to share. Yes. Just a quick testimony of what she got out of Michael's group. Okay, so um, this was actually really special to me because it was about purpose. And um, for a long time, I always thought that you had to know your purpose like right away. But he um, revealed to me that as I grow with him, he's going to keep giving me more revelation and insight on my purpose. So Amen. just yes. more and more. Yeah. Woohoo. Thanks, Lord. Yeah. Yay! All right, Michael's going to come up and tell us what he's going to do next quarter. Woohoo! So exciting. Um, so as you can see, it says, what is worship? So come on, it's so good. Um, so connecting with God through worship. Um, and that's really the heartbeat of what we're going to be uh, going through. And uh, it is, we're going to be talking about worship. We're going to be talking about, you know, spending moments with the Lord. Uh, but really, that's actually not going to be the emphasis. That's actually going to be the gateway into relationship with God and actually hearing his voice. Um, and so that's really what we're going to be focusing on is actually how do we engage in that personal relationship with the Lord. Um, if you guys remember the uh, Wednesday night teaching I did um, last week, um, the last time I was speaking, I spoke about how, you know, we're the tour guides and we provide the, the date, we provide the setup, and then we enter into a relationship with the Father. Um, and that's what we're going to be talking about is how do we steward those moments and how do we actually engage in personal relationship with the Lord. So if you're having issues with hearing God's voice, not really finding that really sweet time with him and not really enjoying it, um, I really encourage you to come and be vulnerable and come to be uh, ready to get your walls broken down with God because he wants to open up that secret place with you. Um, and it's going to be really beautiful. So I really encourage you. We're going to have an amazing time with God and Holy Spirit is going to be right in it the whole time. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Amen. One thing about Michael, too, is if you, like, he just is so gracious, so sweet. If you have any, like, questions or, like, oh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure I want to share, he just draws it out so sweetly. So we just bless Michael. Yeah, we honor him for that. Yes. All right. Vivian, where are you? Beautiful Vivian. There she is. Yay. She has a crossover testimony because did you know it's okay to be in more than one growth group at a time? You can go Monday and Tuesday. Yay. Yeah, so since I was in both of them, I had to write mine down so I don't forget. So this is um, after studying Acts with Susie and Signs and Wonders with Teresa, I was finally able to see the truth, what truth looks like and what it feels like. So truth used to look like motivation to me. Motivation used to look like inspiration, inspiration, empowerment, empowerment, freedom, and freedom, ultimately success. But I still felt empty. So after the classes uh, today, truth to me looks like freedom. Freedom looks like Jesus. Jesus looks like love. Amen. Love looks like forgiveness. Forgiveness looks like healing. And healing looks like joy. Amen. Yes, sir. So <laughs> Woo! Amen. Come on. If you want to get revelation like that, you're going to want to be with Susie because she walks people through the Bible in an amazingly beautiful way. Here she is. Awesome. So I am so excited for this next semester because we're going to be walking through the book of Galatians. And so we're really going to be digging into what does freedom look like. We're going to be giving you practical ways to walk out God's amazing love for you. Not striving, not trying to perform, not trying to um, like pay off guilt to God, but just walking in the freedom that Christ paid for us. So um, it's going to be great. We're going to be studying the word and a lot of personal challenges as well. Amen. Yay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. From India's group, Allie, where are you? Here she comes. Bold Allie. Yes. Yay! Okay, so for India's group, first of all, if you haven't been in her group yet, you have to do it. It is so amazing. So for India's group, I was a little bit nervous going in just because I have trouble being vulnerable, but that was the whole point of why I wanted to do it. So I stepped out of my comfort zone. I went in there, and it was so welcoming. The display that she had on the screen is like a little landscape, little fire. It was so cute, and it was really welcoming and inviting to me, so it made me comfortable. And then the people that were in the group were so just judge-free. Like, they, there was no judgment in anything that I shared. 
and it just made me feel so loved. Amen. Yes, 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 yes. That's what India carries. Yes, community, connection, love. Hallelujah. Here she is. All right, great. All right, so we are going to be going after unstoppable hope. Because when you have hope, there's really freedom when you have hope. I said, and you start to believe that, yes, I can do what God has called me to do. And I just feel like the enemy has really come against people in this area of hope for the sole purpose of keeping people from going after their destiny, believing that it's never going to come true. So come on out to my group. This is a time where we're going to spur each other on to know that, yes, I have a purpose. Yes, I am what God says that I am. Yes, I can do what God says I'm going to do. Even if you don't know what your purpose is that God has for you, you know what? I have hope now that God does have a plan and a future for me. So that's what we're going to do in my group. So good. And then Randy, here's the beautiful, amazing Randy. Woohoo! Oh, so I was in Teresa's Signs and Wonders group, and um, we really dug into what I personally need to be a revivalist and to live a revivalist lifestyle with Jesus and what that looks like. Um, and one of my, one of my many favorite things um, that really impacted me is at the beginning of each session, we did declarations together. But Teresa had us stand and and put our arms out and intentionally and purposefully take up space in the room and declare that we are powerful. And that really impacted me, um, that I I take up space and I am powerful in my space. Um, So Teresa's group, we never knew what we were doing every week. (laughs) And it was always fun. There's always um, a practical opportunity for you to practice what you're learning and it's totally sometimes out of your comfort zone but it's safe it always felt really safe um so there were lots of opportunities to practice um lots of different times where we sat and we asked holy spirit uh very personal questions and got personal answers and breakthroughs and it was a really really amazing time Amen. And here she comes. If you want the most amazing encounters, you want to be around this lady. Wow. Yeah. So life is supposed to feel like pleasure and not pressure. So if you need freedom in your life for life to feel like pleasure and not pressure, chances are you need some identity to know who your daddy is and what that means. Because for a long time, the, the word phrase we hear, I'm a daughter of God, I'm a child of God, it didn't sink into me what that meant until I realized that being a daughter of God means that everything that daddy, God owns is mine. His constant love and his constant focus is on me, is on you. And I can always run to him, and he's always actually ran to me before I even ran to him. So it's living with such a love and such a comfort and such a safety your entire life to never worry again when we know we are sons and daughters of God. So I'm going to be going through the book called To Rain by Leif Hetland. And he makes things, when he writes, he makes things so simple and clear when he writes. So I love his book. Um, it'll, we're going to walk through it loosely because every week we take time to be, like we say, practical and do something to connect with our daddy and find out some new way that we didn't know how intentional he is about taking care of us and looking at us, seeing us, and hearing us, and that amazing connection we have with our Father. Thanks, Lord. Thanks, Lord. Yeah, let's just give a hand to all our Growth Group leaders, amazingly powerful people. Yeah, thanks, Lord. Thanks, Lord. So you just want to make sure that you sign up with them this week. We don't have any growth groups this week, no class this week, and then they all start next week. Um, Okay? I want to challenge you guys. Um, How many of you know what a fast is? All right. How many of you know fasting food is not a fun thing to do? 
All right. So I want to challenge you. I, and I really felt that that was the Lord, that um, over the next season, which is probably 12 weeks. So I want you to just think about that. Anytime the Bible says we seek God with all of our heart, mind, and soul, every time we do that, God, re, um, he rewards those who earnestly seek him, right? So how about, or what about, if we say, I'm going to go to as many growth groups as I can. I'm going to go to as many growth groups as I can. I'm going to commit. I'm going to fast my life. I'm going to fast what I usually do on Mondays, and I'm going to go. I'm going to fast what I usually do on Tuesday nights. I'm going to go. I'm going to fast what I usually do on Wednesday nights, and I'm going to go. I'm going to fast what I usually do on Thursday nights, and I'm going to go. I believe that if anybody who does that intentionally, not out of compulsion because I have to, but if anybody does it intentionally because I want to, God, pursue you. God, because I am hungry. Because I'm not just anymore wanting to do my dues, but I want to really fast what I do. I want to fast my life, and I want to give you your life of fullness. I want to give that a chance. I can guarantee you, because I know who God is, because I know his promises, I can guarantee you those who do that, they will radically have a life-changing experience. I can guarantee you that. Let's not be legalistic about it. But I can guarantee you, if you stop your life and start living his, you're going to have an amazing, amazing encounter. So I just want to challenge you with that. No guilt. Do whatever you want. But if you really say, you know what, I really want to do that. I want to pursue God. I want All these are great. All these are awesome. I wish I could get to every one of them, right? But if you just go, you know what, I'm just going to do what I can. I'm going to go to Monday something. I'm going to go to Tuesday something. I'm going to go to Wednesday. Obviously, we have midweek service. And on Thursday, I'm going to go do. And why do I do that? It's because I want to pursue him. It's not about religiousness. It's about I want to pursue you, God. I want to pursue your life and not mine. I want to be equipped. I want to pursue you. I want to pursue your presence. I believe God is going to do amazing things. So that's just the challenge. You have a whole week to pray about it, pray about it, pray about it, and see what God says. Amen? Yes. And sign up because we want to know how many people are there. Awesome.